All right, how's it going, guys? We are back. No video on Wednesday. Because we were busy streaming and doing this. So we have a nice new room here for setting up all of our circuit stuff, which we're not doing today. But I wanted to show it to you. In case you didn't see the live stream. Which we are seriously running out of room on this island. Other than this little bit of nothing over here. And this little bit over here, which is, you know, my tree farming area. And maybe a little beachfront property. We're pretty much done. So if I got to build any more buildings, we're going to have to put it somewhere else. But... Today, we're going to get this issue fixed. So, my barrel here of potassium bisulfite is full. And I need to put a mass storage here. But I don't want to put a mass storage here because I want to move this downstairs. So, we can have this stuff go to it. So, we're going to try to relocate this. And I want to make sure that is on there so I know where we're supposed to be connecting to. And we should have no issue of moving this <clears throat> down below. Now, I have... It should be coming out here, right? Yeah, right there. So we have those coming out there, and shit, that one's... I hate this change Greg made. I'm sure there's somebody that requested it. Whoever it is that requested it, your assholes. You need to be slapped sideways. Fucking annoying. I'm so used to my barrels resetting when I break them I can understand them holding their settings if you tape them but if you don't tape them they should reset because I end up with barrels that have their settings saved so they don't stack or I do something stupid like this and use it thinking that it's not going to dump shit everywhere, and then it dumps shit everywhere. Oh, that's so annoying. <clears throat> well, I guess I'm using the new mass storage now. We'll have to put it over wherever the hell we need it in a minute once I clean up this mess. Okay, so get the rest of that in there. So I need to have those connected, and I need to get, it should be that one, I think. Which if that one, that's going to be a pain. Because, yeah, this should be the sulfur dioxide, sulfur trioxide, that should be definitely be the one I need. So let's go up and find out for sure. So, uh, not there. Right there. Okay. So we're going to have to have our pipe come over and down this way. Or... We can do uh, into the floor and over and down here, but I think coming down this way would be better. Um, I do have this pipe in the way, so we'll have to figure that out as well. And I'll just run the pipe from here underneath there, so... Let me grab some pipes. I did get a bunch of new ones made. 
I've got ultimate ones. I've got more brass ones. I've got more black bronze ones. I got all kinds of pipes now. Because my stainless finally got done. And we're working on ultimate at the moment. Which I do believe I did two batches of that. So I got even more of that coming out. I mean, yeah, I got some rose gold ones here. I've got some black bronze ones. I got regular brass ones. You need pipes. I got pipes. I make all the pipes. And there's me a nice stack of those. We got electrum in there, but those are for crafting. So now that I have the ultimates, now we can work on getting that main line and get all those boxes moved as well, but... We might have time to do that today. I want to get this done first. Okay, so... This is going to go very slow, so... A brass pipe here will be fine. And... I can do this. And where the hell is my wrench? Um, just use the monkey wrench. Um, will not work between two pipes. Well, kiss my ass. I didn't want to use you for whatever you're trying to do anyways. I don't even know what it's trying to do. By the way, I broke my wrench. So, I made a... Red steel one, since we have all that red steel sitting there. I'm just going to start using that up for crafting wrenches. That feels like a good use for all of that. And then I will make me a uh, decent one for pipes, which I'm going to make an electric one next. No reason to make a regular one anymore. Why'd I come down here? Okay, so that. And then get that off of there. And I don't want to go directly underneath that. Because there may be some reason to... I don't know any reason I would need the bottom of that, but I want to leave it open just in case. Just a little bit. Alright, so we're going to come down right here, which we're going to have that rubber pipe in the way. So we're going to have to go forward and down here. And I think what we're going to do, this was going in through the top. So we're going to put this actually right here in the floor and then light that bad boy up and dun, 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 yep all the numbers match that's good and the only issue is I need to fix the pipe because if I put anything down on here it's going to send in a piece of Garnier right and the reason why it's doing that is because it's trying to send it back from this one over here. Because I apparently have this one over here with the this one right here. I have the secondary face. Wait a minute. That comes down here. Oh, it's coming from that. Okay, I thought I had that going into that one, but I don't. Okay, so that's why it's sending it through. I was going to say, that's so weird that it's sending that through, but it's not on the secondary face. Okay. So anyways, I got to be careful of that. So we're going to use this one over here. 
that is taped and we're going to tape it up. Uh, tape. And there it went. And we're going to put that there. And we're going to put this one on top of it. Cut them both open. And then I need to monkey wrench that one. We'll fill inventory below. Except that's the potassium bisulfite. So guess what? That's not going to fill below. All right, well, we can fix this. Uh, we need to put this one here. And I'm just going to fix it by doing this. Throw all of this over here. Because that's going to be what's coming from that side. I want this for this side. Um, but no, I didn't think about it. What I was going to do is that so I can put it in there. Which I'm still going to do. But I need to move this up a block because I need both of those to go through the top of that. So, we can now take that off. We can fix that because we want it to keep the thing and then we will tape both of these back up oh I'm out of tape I've actually gotten it down to less than 10 holy crap all right I'll have to go get another piece of tape so give me a minute I'll be right back okay so I just decided to make me a thing of regular tape because this is 10K. It'll just use it. And no fuss, no muss. All right. So this is going to go like that. Not really worried about which one goes through faster. So we'll just put this here and connect that there. And this is the one that needs to go there. So we can connect that up right there. And... Oink. And then we need to give this a monkey wrench. Will fill. Perfect. And then we need the other one. Which is going to go right there. Connect it. Untape it until it will fill. Beautiful. And now we need to set up. And I'm going to use the black bronze for this. Since we're going to have two different things coming over. I don't know that I need to. But I'm going to anyways. That way that if uh, one of them happens to get full, there's no reason that one of them should get filled. Uh, but just in case, which by the way, pull that out so it can take its ass down there. Because uh, the machine will not output unless it has power. And it does not have power because it's full. And it doesn't know that it needs to run. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Where is my axe? There's my axe. Alright, so we'll pop that off. We're going to pop that off. That off. And then we're going to put the black steel, or black bronze, here. And we're going to run it right down like that. And now this one has started because it, I have no idea why that started. Oh, because this is actually has the hydrochloric acid, 
so we can make the aqua regia. We didn't have the hydrochloric because this one couldn't run. I need to figure that out, why that one wasn't able to run when it was supposed to be. But we're not doing that today because today we just want to get rid of the sulfuric acid. So we'll do that another day. But that should have been able to run. So now we need to get this one over here. So we're going to go like that. And we're going to sneak right underneath this tank. Because we need to connect these to the back. And we're connecting to the back because I do not want to connect to that one in case for some reason that gets full. And again, should not ever get full. It has a mass storage. If I'm doing that much and can't electrolyze it, well, there's a problem. And holy crap, that took the exact amount of black bronze I had. All right, there we go. So now that should allow both of those to run and fill there. So that takes care of that. Now our hydrochloric can run again with salt. And this, that still annoys me. I think I got to turn that around is what I need to do. But we'll figure that out another day. And uh, we're going to be setting up this for making the uh, lithium chloride into lithium hydroxide very soon. I just got the stuff made so we can get that done. I still need to get that restricted. I still haven't done that. But let's go work on getting this pipe ran that feeds this. This is not able to run right now because we're full of oxygen again, which is the same reason why we aren't running anymore over here because that is full of oxygen again. I really need to get the replication stuff done, but we need power for that. And by the way, I've had to go down and manipulate the lava like three or four times this week. Um, because we have been running on this a lot because we don't have the hydrogen right now. And I am working on getting the gas turbine done so we can actually get it done. And I made the worst decision ever. Welding those ingots together to make the solid blocks to put them in the roll bender or the rolling mill was the worst idea ever. This thing barely ever moves. Um, the entire time we were doing the live stream, this was running. Um, it's also been working, running while I've been on here getting other things done. It's done a bunch of them, but it's just so slow. We are down to the last 53 that it needs to do. And then I can take these and put them into the welder and turn them into our dense stainless steel walls which i'm gonna wait to do until it gets all done but holy crap that was the worst i really think and i actually want to check while we're here but i really think it's cheaper to run these through a compressor to make them uh compressor is going to take 345 seconds and the roll thing it's the same amount of time. Holy crap. I swear this is taking so much longer than me doing it in the compressor before. But holy crap, it just seems like it's taking forever to get them done. I know it's doing a lot of them, but damn. Okay, so we need to get... 
this figured out down here. So we currently have our bauxite right here running over there. And we need the malachite and all the coppers, except for copper, ran over there. So we need this one, this one, uh, not that. That's an iron. I really need to move these all around. Um, but we need that one and this one, this one, none of that stuff, and this one. By the way, I decided on Chaco that we're running it through the uh, sluice and running the Chaco then through the uh, vitriol stuff. So let me go make another thing of tape. And we're going to move all these things around here. Get them into a little bit better of an order. And then we're going to figure out how we're sending these over there to the vitrals. So give me a minute. I'll be right back. All right. So I got me another roll of paper tape. So we got 10,000 uses on it. And what I think we're going to do, we have the stuff coming from the bath that needs to go into these. We have the stuff from the sluice that needs to go into them. And we also have the stuff that's coming from the mercury bath here that also needs to go into them but i think we're going to move each one of these over because i'm pretty sure this is where we're going back up and i'm pretty sure we have a restrictor pipe right if not we're making one um because that's where the pipe comes back up and yeah that's for the tiny dust that's for the dust it comes up right there and goes to no that's not where it comes up hold on i'm having a brain fart okay it comes down from there comes across does all of this stuff it goes through this line it goes over and it goes up through that pipe right there. And then that pipe is the yellow one that comes up the back side, which is right here, which has a choice of going to those if it has any dust or any tiny dust in it. Then it goes to this one that goes to... Wait a minute, that's supposed to be going into... It's supposed to be going into there, isn't it? Am I losing my mind? Did I do this wrong? Oh, no, I'm looking at it wrong. That doesn't connect there, that connects there. And yeah, it goes into this one. Okay, that's... Holy crap, I was completely thinking my brain was screwed here for a second okay so that goes into here so what we need to do is we need to make sure that they can go down there first so what we're going to do is we're going to take this pipe out of here and we're going to put our box site right on top of there and we're going to run this pipe that comes out of here instead of having it come down here and having the choice of going through, wait a minute, this one coming out of the sluice, it comes down here and goes to these. Instead of doing that, it's going to go over to 
those first. So we're going to change this pipe here. And I'm going to have it, instead of going down, it's going to come up. So we're going to do this. And we don't have a restrictor pipe on here, but we're going to put one on there. So I will make a restrictor pipe, two restrictor pipes today. So we have one for that other thing. We're going to run this one, if I can. Uh, oop, there we go. And then we need this to run right in front of that. So I'm going to run that right across there. So give me a minute. I'll do all the nasty pipe work and get that across here and go make two restrictor pipes, which we definitely want to use the brass because that's really going to restrict it. If we make a brass restrictor pipe and we put it on an ultimate pipe that has a step side of 2,000, that's going to be uh, like 128,000. That'll guarantee it never goes through there. We could do a restrictor ultimate, though. Which would take it to 204. Uh, maybe I will do that. That is a pretty far... We're not going 200 blocks. We're... Yeah. We'll do an ultimate. That way they can get through there. Alright. So let me get these restrictor pipes done. I'll be right back. Okay. So, now that I got that done... Let's go ahead and use this one. And we're going to tape up these here that's going to stay for the moment that's got 7,000 uh, that's not going to fit uh, will you take that one and this one alright so we need all of these which is going to be a bit of a pain in the ass because my inventory is really full for right now let's drop all of these I did go ahead and make a brass restrictor for that other one let's see those should stack they're made out of the same thing but now they won't stack because this one is obviously set to open yeah see I close the bottom of the damn barrel before it'll stack with the rest. There we go. And we can get rid of the tape for now. The mass storage is... I shouldn't need any of that for the moment. So I'll just dump that all in there. And then I should be able to get all these picked up, I hope with all their little pieces. That one needs a wrench, you dumbass. And give me this one. Thank you. I still got to take that pipe out of there. And I made myself a nice little scaffold. By the way, I got to make a new wrench for that one. That pipe will be there till I make that new wrench, because... That's the old wrench. Okay, this is only going to be bauxite. And since that's only going to be bauxite, that means we don't need a pipe there. We're never going to have anything but bauxite going into that. So we can just put that one there. And I completely threw my pocket tool in that box, so that was dumb. This is Ilmanent which is coming from over there, and I do want to move it over here, but we'll do that later. But now this one is going to be the copper things. And we're going to use... Okay, we're going to go get the thing now because I need the... Uh, I need my pocket tool. Grab 
grab me something to eat. All right, give me brass pipes and my pocket tool back. All right, so we're going to have on this one a load of barrels right here. So we'll have the, why do I have a sodium bisulfite? I shouldn't have that. Anyways, we'll have a malachite. We'll have a stanite. We'll have a chocopyrite. We'll have a kesterite. And over here... We'll have a, uh, why do I have, why does that say, but that's so supposed to say Tetra. Did I not grab the Tetra? I so swore I grabbed the Tetra. No, I did not grab the Tetra. I need to grab the Tetra. Where in the hell did the sodium bisulfite come from? Did I forget to put that over on the other side? I bet you I forgot to put that on the other side. Okay, I need one that has 5,700? 700. There we go. Give me that. Now I got the one I need. So this is why I never empty my pockets, folks. Because every time I do, I need something. I just need bigger pockets. Alright, so I'll put the tetra there. That's not the tetra, that's the sodium bisulfate. That I need to get rid of. This is the tetra. Damn it. I'm getting rid of this now because it's driving me nuts. So we'll just take this one and it should be coming from this, which we have ran completely out of. Why is that not putting the other one should be going in there? Um... Also, it doesn't matter that that goes in there, but why is that not going in there? Uh, hello? Hmm. Because that has a hopper. It can so go right. That has sodium in there. Got it. Okay, now we're fine. Okay, now I'm not so confused. But we're going to put the sodium bisulfide here. That way it can empty into the downstairs area. And then I will pick that up later. All right, now, connect up the bottom of all of these. And I also have a Nicolite, which uh, I need to put somewhere. And I'm not sure where I want to put it. Because we're going to end up with another one over here for iron stuff. And I really don't want the copper stuff getting in the damn way. Uh, but it might just have to get in the damn way. Might have to move the iron one over a little bit. Uh, so now we can do this. And that'll send them all in there when they can get there. Which is perfect. That one's going to be down there. So technically, 
I can put the Nicolite here. And it's actually not going to be in the way. So let's do that. And we can take that off. And send it down. So that will take care of all that. Now, we want to run our ultimate pipe right across the top of all of these. And over here. And into that one. And connect to that. And then we can just put our last one right here. So that'll take care of that. And I just need to get all of these down like a soap. Alright, so that takes care of all of that. And then we will extend this pipe down uh, this way. And I will put the iron stuff, which is going to be... Hey, look, we're making power again. Uh, we're going to put the iron, which is the wolframite, the pyrite, and that's it for the moment. We may put some other ones there uh, later. And then the other stuff, this is going to Aquariga. All of these are going to Aquariga. And this one is going to Aquariga. And those are going to go to the other building because I think we're going to do the Aquariga washing over there. But that means that we need to get rid of these pipes because this isn't going to be needed anymore. I'm not going to run anything else through the bath until I get all of these moved. I'll figure that out and move them later. I just want to show you guys the idea of what I'm going for here. So, we can get rid of that. And... Dun, 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 that does... that. And... where does that go other than the centrifuge? That goes from the Colton, which also gets centrifuged. Okay. So we could technically move that. If Colton is going to be centrifuged, in that centrifuge, we could put that into this centrifuge with the mercury. And then we don't have to run that to the main one. So let's go ahead and do that. We can get rid of this whole thing and clean this up just a little bit better. Um, I need those little pieces. I'm not full. Thank you. Alright, so we can go ahead and just get rid of this. All the way back here. And this is our main dust line right here. So we can move the Colton to, well, not with my ass down there, it ain't. There's a hole there, by the way. I do have to make sure that I'm not in range of any of the burning boxes, which we only have one left. So if we're over here, we should be fine. And then I can put this... Uh, is it going to be fine there? Actually, should be able to get away with putting it right here. Um, 
Do I even need this? Because that goes... Give me a second, I'm thinking. Okay, so we need to have... Colton put into here. Which, that is one thing I didn't think about. Is the fact that these take multiple. And I don't have multiples for them. So I may have to rethink that. But we can at least just put this here. Um, except we so don't want that in there. There shouldn't be anything in there. What is that? Andesite dust. How in the hell did we get andesite dust in there? Let's say this isn't running. There shouldn't be anything in there. Titanium gold. Okay. Why are you in there? Oh, wait a minute. Did I not turn this off? Because anything in there should be going... Let's find out. Okay. I didn't turn that off. That's why we got it. Anyways. Put that there. Put the Colton in there. And then we can run that into this pipe right there that goes into that filter later. So we'll deal with that then. And for right now, we'll just stick that right there so I remember I got to do it. Okay, that takes care of that part. Now, we need this pipe right here to connect right there. So we're going to take all of this out. And then we're going to put a restrictor pipe uh, right here. So that will restrict its access. Nothing can go in there unless it can go to one of those first. And we're actually going to test that. Because we have this right here. And if I throw that in there... That should not turn on. And if I throw that and that and that and that and that, something went in there. Hematite, that was the bauxite because the bauxite is still closed. Okay. So that was a good test because the only thing that went in was the one thing that didn't have somewhere to go. And that's fine. It was just tinies. Doesn't hurt my feelings to lose a little bit of tidies. But everything else went right where it was supposed to go. So. Beautiful. Alright, so that should work. Now we can get rid of that pipe. And I love seeing that, uh. How in the world are we running low and that's still got water in it? That thing's been running forever. But that means I can also get rid of this pipe all the way over there. We need to get this pipe out of here now. Which I can't do because wrench. I got to get the new wrench made. Um, but actually now we're going to have to reset where this pipe goes and connects to there so we can't get rid of all of that but we can get rid of all of this because none of this is going to be needed anymore and we will have to run the output from this over to there so that anything that comes through the mercury bath has somewhere to go but we will just turn this one this way and I will run a brass pipe now this way. Oh, 
and we'll just connect it up right there. So then I'm going to move all these to the other room and to where we're doing the iron stuff, probably set up the iron vitriol. Um, I'm guessing you guys don't need to say, see me set up another vitriol. It's going to be exactly the same as the uh, copper one. It's going to be exact duplicate of this one just sitting here. Uh, the only difference is I'm going to face the machines this way so that I can have the outputs on the same sides. And so this will be on the other side. So I'll get that set up. And then we still have another one to get done uh, after that, which is... Well, technically, we could have a couple of them. Uh... We've done the blue, which is the copper. The green is the iron. We could do the red one, which is cobalt. Uh, but we have to look and see what we're actually, if we're actually going to do this one. Because we need to make sure we're, like, this here is if we had native cobalt ore, which we don't have. We want to make sure that whatever we run through here is going to give us native cobalt, not cobalite. And cobalite is going to give us cobalite. But if we put it into the centrifuge, it's going to give us cobalt. Along with orange fluorite and railgar. The railgar is garbage. Don't give a shit. The orange fluorite, nice to have. We definitely want the cobalt. So we're not going to be doing the red one. Um, there's also the pink one, which is manganese. Uh, this one we may set up for uh, magnesium carbonate. Magnesite, same thing. Uh, we could run it and get manganese chloride off of it. Which would kind of be nice to give us another way of getting manganese. Uh, if we centrifuge it, cobalite, pyrolusite, and magnesite. Uh, over here is going to get cobalite, pyro, pyrolusite. Yeah, actually, we might. I don't know where we're going to need that much um, magnesium. So I may actually, instead of doing the pink one, actually set up that other uh, thing just for it. And then the cyan is for nickel. I don't think we're going to be doing that because anything that will go through that will go through the um, aqua riga. There's gray is the other one, which is for manganese. That one I may actually do. We definitely need to set this up, which is going to give us gray, but that would be a whole different setup. Uh, we'll have to look and see if we're going to do Cubanerite and I'm guessing pyrolusite in here as well. Yeah, pyrolusite we can do. So we'll have to look at those later on down the road. Martian I think is actually used now, um, but that's for adamantine. If you're going and getting adamantine or adamantite or dash, you have to go to space to get any of that. So we're definitely not setting that up anytime soon. So the only one we really need to set up right now is the green one for our iron stuff. So, like I said, I'll get that set up. I need to get these uh, things done, so we're going to work on making a wrench probably in the next one. But we're going to go ahead and set up processing down this lithium chloride so I can make a um, lithium cobalt or lithium manganese battery for it so it'll last forever basically so we'll be doing the wrench and the lithium chloride stuff in the next one hopefully 
and then we'll start working on getting our circuit stuff moved over to the new building. So that's what we've got coming next week. Hope you guys enjoyed this little messing around with pipes. Any questions, comments, concerns, let me know. And I'll see you guys later.